Hello! Obviously my regular viewers know me. For anyone new though, I am author and internet entrepreneur Zachary Fennell. Today I wanted to take some time and hold this Q&A about my latest book, Rock Realities. Of course, your first cue of this Q&A might be, what is Rock Realities? Well, thanks for asking! Rock Realities collects together 13 articles I've written based off 13 phone interviews with 13 different musicians. These musicians mostly fall within the pop rock indie alternative genres. Topics discussed during the interviews range from sacrifices made to pursue music and lessons learned from experience to social media's role in the music industry and advice for aspiring musicians. Now a common question I've received after explaining what the book entails is why write rock realities? That there gets right to the core, doesn't it? The answer will heavily influence your decision whether to purchase the read. The reason I wrote rock realities extends back to the significant role music has played in my life. As Readers of my first book know, my memoir, Off Balance, I haven't always been this outgoing, camera-friendly guy. There was a time I let my disability, cerebral palsy, shame me into being an extreme introvert. I lived a very socially isolated life. Music helped me get through this tough phase. The lyrics of my favorite songs provided the empathy one ordinarily seeks from friends. So I know how powerful music can be. I wanted to help spread this power. All that leads to another question I've received. No interview with name this star indie rocker? No, you're not going to find interviews with the likes of Kings of Leon and Arcade Fire in rock reality. Instead, I decided to feature upcoming artists that will wow you with their dedication and passion for music. Musicians you need to be listening to. I hate to name Pacific's name Pacific names here because all 13 artists I interviewed I could comment on here. Going against my better judgment though, I'll give an example. When I feel glum, there's a certain rotation of bands I'll listen to in order to turn my frown upside down. Summertime Dropouts is in that rotation. You'll find an interview with Summertime Dropouts' Dave Erickson in Rock Realities. Before the poppy Summertime Dropouts, Erickson fronted the hard rock band Fades Away. Amongst the many topics we discussed, he explained to me the different emotional release Summertime Dropouts allows him. It's really interesting to learn the emotional impact the music has on the musicians themselves. Speaking of interesting, here is one last question I've been asked about rock realities. What was the most interesting interview you did for the book? What a tough question. Every interview had compelling aspects, albeit Jason Stolsteimer deciding to walk away from the proven financially viable Devon Bondies, Stacey Randall's opinionated take on pop country music, the sacrifices made by all the members of the Blind Spots, etc., etc. Perhaps I should end this Q&A by asking you a question. To answer, you'll need to purchase rock realities for your Kindle or Nook. I'll leave links to the sales pages in the video's description. So go ahead, check those out, and enjoy the read. When you're all done, come back here and answer what did you find most interesting about rock realities. Leave your answer in the comment section below. I look forward to your feedback. I'd also like to invite you, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is as easy as clicking on the air guitar.
Until next time, YouTubers.